My process is river erosion. Rivers can be found all over the world. They can be thousands of kilometers long, like the River Nile system. From the top of the heads, its headwaters to the end, it is 6,650 kilometers long. The skinniest rivers might be only 30 meters wide, but some can be more than a kilometer wide, though the width often depends on if it's a dry season or a wet season. The curviness of a river is interesting. If you compare a straight line, from the start of the river to the end to the actual path of the river, the ratio is, is 3.14, it's pi. Baking dish represents my riverbed. Uh, the riverbed is, is the hollowed out area a river has eroded and travels through. You can see that right here. All right, this is a straight section of a river to make things easier to represent. Many are made up of, of multiple bends. The sugar is the sediments that rest along the bottom of and sides of the river, the sediments and the rocks. This pencil with the blue paper attached to it represents the moving river water. All right, so here's what happens uh, when the water smashes up against the sides of the river. Uh, this is called hydraulic action. It makes air go into the rocks and that starts to break the rocks apart. This can break down the river banks and make the river wider, like you can see right here. Um, the moving water also drags pebbles along. You can see it pushing the sediments and that scrapes the bottom of the river, almost like sandpaper. Um, this is called abrasion. Now if we zoom in on two rocks, the river can make them hit each other and they start to break into smaller pieces and smooth out. Um, this is called attrition. Eventually they can end up being much smaller and smoother like these rocks here. Water can also react with gases to become slightly acidic and that will just start to eat away at the rocks, like what happens with limestone. Over time, which can be in a matter of hours if there's a big flood or hundreds of thousands of years if you're talking about making a deep canyon, the erosion will wear away at the rocks and make the riverbed deeper and possibly wider. 